Step inside the booth and unloosen the tie. 503 line is alive. LDBC, what's up, man? It's your boy 503 line. Coming to talk to you. Late night grind. As you can see, it's like 1 o'clock at night, man. At the job, chilling. You know, I want to talk some boxing, man. Shout out to the whole LDBC. You know what I'm saying? Everybody on here doing their thing, man. You know, uh, it's been a lot of talk about Earl Spence and Keith Thurman, man. And that's cool. I'm happy for the homie Earl Spence. He getting his fight. You know, his homecoming fight in Dallas, man. And I'm praying that I can uh, make that, man, for sure. In June, you know, I'm leaving in God's hands. But I want to talk about Jamal Chalo. You know, and Hugo, and Hugo Santana, this fight coming up in March. Um, Nobody really talking about it. Canelo and Triple G just got uh, their rematch for May. What a coincidence, right? They stole Floyd's old fight date. So, that should be big. Uh, hopefully. We have a, a clear winner. I'm thinking Canelo is gonna gonna beat Triple G this time. But uh, I just want to know, man, how much more longer does Jamal Charlo have to wait? What what what, what would be the next excuse? You know what I'm saying? Everybody sitting up here talking about Spence and Thurman, but ain't nobody talking about the obstacles that. Jamal finna have to go through to get a title and the bullshit he gonna have to deal with with Abel. Is, is Triple G gonna retire after this fight? You know, let's let's really switch gears and think long term. We already know what Thurman's temperature is at, man. We really need to sh shift gears to Abel Sanchez and Triple G and Canelo. Because 160 is, is looking mighty interesting. You got like I said, Canelo, Triple G. You got the homie, uh, Demetrius Andre. Uh, I think Hurd is probably going to move up after his fight with Laura. And then he said he going to fight uh, Mel, you know, Jamil Charlo. You know what I'm saying? So, 160 is looking pretty good. Then you still got Daniel Jacobs at 160. He looking to get it in. Chris Eubank. You know what I'm saying? Billy Joe Saunders, like, all these dudes got to fight each other, man. And I want to see Charlo mix it up with all these cats, if possible. I want to see him fight the Eubanks or, or uh, Billy Joe Saunders. You dig? Because <clears throat> this is just the beginning, man. All these guys are going to move up. You know what I'm saying? You, you never know, man. These dudes might end up. Fighting at 168, 175 when it's all over. Earl Spence may may fight at 160 when it's all over. You know what I'm saying? It's just a new era of boxing, man. But I just wanted to to, to let y'all know. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't forget about motherfucking me Charlos, man. You know what I'm saying? This H time shit. This shit. This shit real, man. This Texas shit real. You dig? But Earl Spence putting on for Dallas, man. But down here in, in Houston, the Charlos is definitely putting on. You know what I'm saying? You know, but boxing looking good so far. You know, Showtime is killing it. You know, I don't know what HBO focus really is. They had a fight called last week with Matisse. You know what I'm saying? I didn't, I didn't get to watch that because I don't, I don't have HBO. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know, man. We shall see, man. You know what I'm saying? But how long will my man? Jamal Charlo have to wait for this bullshit because Abel Sanchez is really on some bullshit right now. You know what I'm saying? I can't I can't really get to my normal format. You know what I'm saying? But my my fucking shit should be up how I want to in a little minute. But I'm I'm face to face with this shit, man. You dig? Real real hands on. You dig? Late night shit, man. Late night thoughts, man. You know what I'm saying? What what division is y'all excited about though? You feel me? What I'm really I really wanna see how these 
junior and, and middleweights uh, is going to pan out. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm excited about welterweight and heavyweight. Don't get me wrong. But I really want to see how these dudes at 160 and 154 going to pan out. You know what I'm saying? That's really... You know what I'm saying? Because they ain't nobody really talking about it because everybody is, is, you know, either they talking about Anthony Joshua, Spence Thurman, you know what I'm saying, Deontay Wilder, Parker, you know? So that's what I think I'm, I'm going to start focusing on, like these middleweights, you know what I'm saying? Dudes at 154, 160. Because Canelo... He just can't tiptoe out this motherfucker without fighting somebody. That, that's really what I want to see. I really want to see is they going to fight some of these young lines, man. I really do. You know what I'm saying? It's your boy 503 line. Till next time, I'm done. Peace.